Hi, I'm Wayne Hudson, and we're coming to you today from the Home Grace in Van Cleve, Mississippi, and I have a wonderful guy here with me today. I'm looking forward to talking to you. I've been wanting to get you up here for a long time, Bubba, and, and uh, interview you and ask you some questions. This is Bubba Phillips. Bubba, where are you from? I'm from Sebastopol, Mississippi. <clears throat> and um, let me just ask you this. Yes, sir. How did you first learn about the Home Grace? <clears throat> Well, uh, I had had a friend come to the Home of Grace about 12 years ago that had gotten in a, in, in a mess and uh, his family through some serious circumstances and situations that he had came here. That's the first that I, I known about the Home of Grace, but, but uh, I guess in the past three years I, I had attended two different secular rehabs and, and, and my wife knowing that what the home of grace had into did for the friend of mine had really wanted me to you know to to try to come to the home of grace to get get god and uh mm -hmm. and uh through that through some serious situations i finally found the home of grace yeah <clears throat> and now uh, what year was that that was in 2017 december of 2017. Uh -huh. So really, when you think about it, it wasn't that long ago, was it? No, so I think um, if we look at time, 18, 19 months ago. Well, tell me this. What all's happened since then? Man, life has been amazing. You know, I, I, never, I never knew there was a side of life that, that I'm living now. You know, for years I lived for myself. I lived in pride. You know, I got a, I got a testimony that goes back through some pretty, pretty crucial upbringing and, and, and childhood and, I, and, and, and young life. Mm -hmm. But uh, life since the home of grace has been amazing. I had a friend of mine, the friend of mine that came 12 years ago, that their church reached out and paid my way to the home of grace. Mm -hmm. That planted a seed in me, you know, telling me that people really loved me when I didn't love myself. And uh, so I had 90 days of course, the Bible says, be still, know that I'm God. I never in my life sit still at any moment, just allow God to take over. All right. And in that 90 days, I had time to really meditate on what love was about and ask myself, how can people love me when I don't even love myself? To love me so much to even pay my way, I really don't even know these people. Mm -hmm. So I made it a mission of mine when God promised I held his promises, and I told him I'd hold mine, that I would help people mm -hmm. that are lost and do my best to find the lost folks out there. And when I got out of the home of grace, I reached back out to that friend of mine that paid my way, and since then we've, we've been on a mission. We've raised a good bit of money, eighty to $90,000, I'd say, wow. and all the money being spent back to the home of grace, you know, sending people, and, uh, and we just... We send to sponsor people, I guess. Hey, we could do it every week if we had the money, but mm -hmm. we run out of it mm -hmm. pretty quick. Well, the good news <clears throat> is there's going to be a lot of people watching this, and some of them might have some extra money that they can send Absolutely. you so that you can sponsor some more people and send them to the home grace. Um, and you're right. It's, uh, it's really um, it's touching. To see that someone can give like that for the benefit of someone they don't even know. Absolutely. And um, uh, when that can happen to you personally, as it has in your own life, uh, that's some, something you don't get over very easily. No, sir. Um, how often do you come down to the home? I try to make the point <clears throat> when my when my work allows me. I'm self-employed and. I do have the luxuries of being flexible from time to time, but but as today it was raining, so I seen an opportunity mm -hmm. that we got a uh, we sponsored a guy in here. I won't call his name that that was in here, and we our church raised an offering Wednesday to bring him a care package. So it gave me a good opportunity to uh, say, hey, I uh, I'll go get it and bring it to him. And by me coming back to the home of grace, I, I would come every week if if I could because it fills me back up. Mm -hmm. It regenerates, you know, the, the love that was here, the, the, even the staff, the love that the staff presents, the love that the, 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 the people, the clients present to me when I'm here. 
it's not a pat on the back that I'm looking for, but it's just like a token of appreciation mm -hmm. that every time I come back, I can go back home and, and my wife can say, you know, it's amazing to see just how that just puts it all back in you. So it puts me back to where I was and allows me to grow. It's like being born again every time I come. Wow. It's an amazing feeling. <clears throat> you know what I've noticed is uh, an awful lot of our former clients become like family to Absolutely. Us. And uh, our, our staff and um, all the way up to Josh Barton, our Absolutely. executive director, we're just um, one family. And, and, and in reality, that's what we are anyway, as brothers and sisters in Christ. Absolutely. We are all God's family. Um, I, um, I want to look, look forward to interviewing you one more time for yes. sure next time you come down. And we're going to get into some things that you'd like to talk about. I want to, in the meantime, you think, be thinking about some things that you'd like to discuss. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll get into that. We have a graduation to go to now, and I can't wait because we got eight guys going to graduate today. And That's good. You talking about excited? You remember your day when you graduated? I'll, I'll never forget it. You know, it was. Uh, my graduation day was uh, was like turning me loose to the next walk of my life, my next chapter. Mm -hmm. And when uh, <coughs> my family picked me up, I graduated March 16th of 2018. Mm -hmm. There was so much love. 30 of my fam friends and family members showed up for my graduation. And I've never openly stood up and thanked my family for anything they've ever done for me. So it gave me <clears throat> an opportunity to thank my family for support, even through some real, real bad times. That I've let them down as bad as I let them down, but they picked me up. So with that being said, I set off to a new life. Mm -hmm. And that life has been flourishing ever since. It's been amazing. God's been, been amazing. He's still amazing. He still shows me every day that He is God. You know, uh, I, I go to sleep with Him on my mind. I wake up with Him on my mind. Uh, I pray with my, mo my wife. I pray with my kids. And, and you know, you mentioned being family. The family of addicts walking with God is a strong, strong family. Mm -hmm. And and I love what God has done for me, and I thank Him for His grace and His mercy. It's good stuff. You know, <clears throat> we have one more level of that family relationship that's coming up real soon when we're all in heaven. Amen. It's going to be an incredible family up there. Can Straight you just imagine? Go. Can you just imagine all the people that have crossed our paths throughout wow. this life who are born again? We'll all show up together and we'll celebrate for all eternity. Amen. I can't wait. Can't wait. My mama, I lost my mama when I was 18 mm -hmm. in 1996. And, you know, I wait on that day and I've waited on that day. And that's, that's one of the, the thorns that I had in my side, just wondering why God allowed that to happen. But, but now I know mm -hmm. why all the things happen. So uh, I can't wait. Yeah. Bye-bye. It's been good seeing you. Absolutely. It's been good sitting with you and talking with you, and I can't wait to do it again. Enjoyed it. It's been a great God bless you. Great experience. Folks back home, thank you so much for being a part <laughs> of A Cup of Grace today here at the Home of Grace. And we'll see you next time. God bless. God bless.